and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, it is Saturday, so you guys already know the deal. I think I've said this intro maybe like, how many weeks has the Vince's Madden's been out? Like four, eight, 12, six, maybe, maybe said this like 25 to 30 times. I don't, I don't even know at this point. But, guys, Ultimate Legend Saturday. It's not Legend Saturday anymore. It is Ultimate Legend Saturday. Now, we got quite a few legends today. We don't think we got, I don't know if we got all of them revealed. I know there was an LTD reveal. Obviously, we got to wait for 10.30 for everything to start coming out. Got to go watch the stream as per usual, guys. But, guys, I'm going to be doing something pretty cool. I'm going to set a light goal for today, but I'm going to do it based on coins. We've never done something like this before. So, guys, the way we're going to do this, right, for every 40 likes is going to be 10K coins I give away. So, guys, it's a very small goal. So, we usually get, like, 120 likes per video, right? So, that's already 30K. If you guys just smash it when we get, like, 300, if we get, like, 300 likes, that's close to 80K. If we get 400 likes, that's 100K. If we get 800 likes, that is 200K. So you guys get it in intervals of 40. So the first 40 should probably take you guys no more than a few minutes. Like, honestly, guys, you guys are good. Right now, if all you guys here in this intro, just go down below and hit that like button. We'll probably hit 80 to 100 in minutes. Trust me, you guys can get it done. And if this goes well, I'll do I'll do more of these. Maybe I'll do these throughout the rest of the year, quite honestly, because I'm going to have a lot of coins coming to me as I, keep, if I go sell some stuff in my binder. And my team's pretty good at this point. I don't know how much I really want to upgrade it beyond this. Like, you know, I don't have to be upgrading like every week now. So maybe I'll be giving away some coins. So if this goes well. We'll keep it up on the channel, guys. Also, to win those coins, you must be subscribed to the channel. So make sure you're going to subscribe and comment down below. Just anything. Just say any word. Like, just make a comment down below. And that is good enough. Like 50K, 40K, comment down below how many, what like number you were. That works too. But guys, that's pretty much it for that. Remember, every 40 likes. So it's 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, and so on and so forth. So guys, make it happen. You should have liked the video already. Now, let's go check out everything in the store. Check out the sets. I would open up a little Legend Fantasy Packs for these new players, but that's still an old picture. But the thing is, is that if I open up the Legend Fantasy Packs, it's 180k. I'd rather get the coins back to you than waste it on packs. So, make it happen. Let's go over to sets and check out see if the new, new Legends are out. I'm kind of excited for the two tall Ed Two Tall Jones. He looks pretty solid. He has an LTD, but I could potentially use my power past him. So, let's go check it out. So, we did just pick up Ed Two Tall Jones. Limited time, Ed Toothall Jones, guys. I'm super excited to show you guys this card. We got him. Super hype. This card's looking really super solid. Now, I do want you guys help as far as something, but I'll tell you guys about that in just a second. But this was, this was a decision I had to make. I went out there, dropped the coins on most of his pieces to power him up. This card's looking super solid. Let's go over the stats, guys. He's six foot nine. Six foot nine. He's absolutely he's absolutely huge. He's, he's just overall huge. He's an end game card, in my opinion. Now, my only debate here is whether or not I should be using this power pass on him. Only because, obviously, there's going to be a Dion or a Vic at some point. I might want them instead. But, it really just depends at this point. I guess we're going to have to wait and see. But for now, I'm going to put the pass on him. Worst case scenario, I take it off him. But for now, it looks pretty solid. 81 speed, 87 excel, 96 strength, 96 tackle, 94 play rec, 99 block shed, 98 power move, 92 finesse move. Guys, he's the greatest run stopper in Madden right now. One of the greatest pass rushers in Madden. One of the most athletic pass rushers in Madden. 96 strength, 96 tackle, 94 play rec. This guy's absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. He's completely end game. If you have a 99 power move, pretty much 99 block shit. Compare him to my Michael Strahan. He's just as athletic. Like, equally as athletic. Way stronger. Way better tackler. Better play rec. Way better block shed. Better power move. And better finesse move. The big thing here is that block shed. You know, run heavy Madden. He's going to be all over the field. I kind of want to put abilities on him now over Aaron Donald, although I'm not entirely sure though because Aaron Donald's still super solid. Aaron Donald's almost equally as good for the most part. So actually, maybe I'll keep him on Donald, but Ed Tutal Jones, they're both beasts in their own right. I'm going to have a solid pass rush with them too. I'll see how long I keep it on there. But guys, Ed Tutal Jones, check out some of the underlying stats before we head on over to check out the other cards. But looking pretty solid. I mean, 94 awareness. I don't really know what else you could really find on an end for the most part. 89 jumping. Uh, impact blocking, 99. Wow. This guy's a beast. 98 pursuit. He that means he could chase down the running backs, guys. Like if this is if this is like a stretch on him and he's right there, he's chasing them running back down. That's pretty great. Hit power 93. This guy's a beast, guys. Ed Tutal Jones, limited time card. Very, very solid. Super happy I have him. But let's go check out the other guys and see how I believe it's Dan Diodorf and Brian Dawkins. Let's see how good they are, because those are some solid drops today. As you guys can see, Brian Dawkins and Dan Diodorf are in the game now. Super excited to check them out. 
I have I have Sean Taylor though, so I'm not entirely sure how much I'm gonna like Brian Dawkins over Sean Taylor for the most part, because I love Brian Dawkins, but I like Sean Taylor as a player. Madden, I usually like Sean Taylor a little bit more, but in this case, Brian Dawkins could be better. We have to really check it out here. And Dan Dudorf is always a beast, obviously. I definitely want to check him out. Although I don't know if I'll actually end up buying Dan Dudorf just yet, because I definitely want to wait for the time being to wait until everything's obviously. A little bit cheaper and things aren't just so hyped up because things just came out you know we obviously gotta wait for a lot of stuff as per usual now let's check if they're out they probably aren't because that's just the nature of this game but eagles let's check out for brian dawkins and brian dawkins is up right there 97 overall free safety brian dawkins super hyped that he's out quite honestly because i won't have to wait all morning for this he's 93 speed 91 excel 90 tackle 95 play rec 95 pursuit 82 man coverage 94 zone 96 hit power so this card right here Looking super amazing. Let's compare him to Sean Taylor. Let's see this right here. So, compared to Sean Taylor, the speed's better on Taylor, and so is the Excel. That's huge, guys. So, he's, he's more athletic than Brian Dawkins. That's, and, he's, and he's two inches taller. Remember that. He has the complete body build athleticism over to Brian Dawkins. Tackle, the one is not a big difference. Play rec is a big difference. Pursuit's okay. Man's the same. Zone's one difference. And hit power's identical. So, here's the thing. When you power Brian Dawkins, you'll have slightly better hit power. He'll have better zone. He'll beat Sean Taylor for what matters to me is the zone and the hit power. But the zone will only beat him by like two, so I end up with like a 98 zone. And the hit power will beat him by like one, so 97. But the big difference is that plus three acceleration, that plus one speed, as well as the six foot two frame. Obviously, you could power Brian Dawkins, but it's going to be kind of costly at this point in the game. I mean, they're very similar. Very similar cards. It's going to be, it's kind of tough for me to really pick one here that I really just prefer over all the others. But. I think they're similar cards. Nothing here is going to really sway me. I think I'm going to stay with Sean Taylor because I was able to use my power pass on him. So it kind of be just dumb for me at this point to just go change it up right now. If he comes down in price one day, maybe I'll end up picking up Dawkins. But I'm, I'm pretty fine with Sean Taylor. It really just depends. As I get my other team endgame, maybe I'll end up making the switch. But he's super solid. Now, Dan Diedorf, I believe he was with the Cardinals. Dan Diedorf's up too. Wow. All right, guys. Today's going to be a good day. Six foot three, 93 strength, 93 awareness, 97 pass block, 96 pa pass block power. 95 pass block finesse, 95 run block, 94 run block power, and 94 run block finesse. Guys, this card looking super solid again. Guys, I'm going to have an issue. I need a lot of coins. I need them now. My team's I'm trying to get my team looking godly. 93 strength. So compared to Lane Johnson, he's going to kick his ass. I mean, we kind of knew this. Plus 6 strength. Plus, oh, actually, better awareness on Lane Johnson. But the pass blocking is plus 8. The pass block power is plus 6. The pass block finesse is plus 7. Run blocking is plus 6. Run, uh, run blocking power is plus what, six? And then run blocking finesse is plus six. Okay, so he kills him everywhere. This is Dan Dudorf. We kind of expected that. Let's refresh his price. He's talking to be one of the cheaper drops of today because he's a lineman. Now, what's a fair price for Dan Dudorf? 340, 330K. That's what I'll spend right there. Same price as Walter Jones. I want to secure up my tackle spots because I'm sick and tired of defensive ends just completely destroying me on every end of and just destroying Lane Johnson. I made the upgrade for Walter Jones, but I still feel it with Dan Dudorf. I really do. Now, let's see some of his underlying stats, like impact blocking and lead blocking, which doesn't always matter as much, but speed is 74, well, depending on your lineman position. Let's go on down. Jumping is low. I don't really care for that. Impact blocking, 94, so that's super solid. Wish it was a little bit higher, but that's still amazing. And now for his, he has a 75 hit power. Wow. His lead block is 94, so all around, probably the best right tackle in the game, guys. Really not much you could say about him in that aspect. He's kind of, he's kind of a beast, and, and quite honestly, he's a beast. But guys... That's pretty much it for these players. Alright guys, so that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you are into the channel, guys, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notify bell, boys. Come join the family. And don't forget about the like goal that we will be setting. Now, this like goal, I'll probably do this. If it goes well today, we'll continue it on throughout the weekend and maybe even throughout the rest of the year, quite honestly, if we do hit it. It really depends on you guys. I mean, it's a very easy like goal. I mean, pretty much you can hit it as long as you just like the video. So if you guys made it this far and you still haven't liked the video, you know what to do. Go give this video a big thumbs up as well as, guys, 40 likes. Every 40 likes is going to be 10K given away. So if we have already 100 likes by the time we finish in this video, that's about 20K. By the time it's 400 likes, it's going to be 100K. If we get to 1,000 likes, it's going to be like 240K. So you guys know what to do. Let's make it happen, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm a big fan of all these Ultimate Legend drops today. I picked up Ed Too Tall. You guys saw that. Clearly, I like him. Ed Too Tall is super solid. Now, Dan Deodorf, amazing. But I don't want to pick him up just yet. I'm going for some cards to get cheaper. Now, the real Ultimate Legends I do want... I, I kind of wanted Dawkins, but compared to Sean Taylor, I think Sean Taylor kind of beats him out a little bit there for me because I have him already. But I definitely want Dion. I definitely want a Vic. Those are the kind of cards I do want. So, Dion, Vic, Lawrence Taylor. I'm kind of waiting for those guys. 
But beyond that, my team's looking super end game. It's getting real close to that. I might for my well, a lot of positions are at least. But I still got some things to upgrade. But we'll work on that, guys. But that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, subscribe, comment, let me know down below what you guys thought of all the Ultimate Legend cards. And make sure you go check out the second video for today, guys. Don't forget to like the video. Modi gang, let me know if you made it this far. That's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.